This is Hua Hua the Panda, China's fluffiest superstar. Standing up, she looks like a round ball of fur, and sitting down, she resembles a triangular rice ball. And this is another celebrity, Hua Hua the Cat. She belonged to Yuan Longping, the legendary scientist who revolutionized the global agriculture with his hybrid rice. But besides their names, what ties these two Huahuas together? The common thread is biodiversity. Whether it's the National Treasure Panda or the National Treasure Yuan Longping, their stories both revolve around the theme of a harmony between man and nature. So now, what is biodiversity. It's the variety of all living organisms, plants, animals, and microorganisms. It's the web that holds everything together. Without it, our ecosystems collapse like a house of cards. And guess who's left standing in the wreckage? Us. And biodiversity powers 50% of the world's GDP, and 40% of people rely on marine biodiversity for their livelihoods. Even 70% of cancer treatments come from plants and animals. So biodiversity is not just nature's gift, it's the engine that powers everything we do. But Yuan Longping's hybrid rice is a testament to the power of biodiversity. By crossbreeding rice strains, we tap into nature's genetic diversity. And that genetic diversity is why food security for 1.4 billion people in China has been shored up. And he also reduced the need for harmful pesticides, which means a happier soil, healthier plants, and more vibrant biodiversity. This work did not just to solve hunger, but helps uh, protect ecosystems and heal the planet. And pandas, they're more than a cute icon. With their limited and specific habitat requirements, they serve as a reminder of nature's uh, delicate balance and protecting them helps raise global awareness about biodiversity. And protecting pandas is not just about saving one species, it's about understanding how fragile ecosystems truly are. But here's the reality check. Between 1970 and 2018, global wildlife populations plunged by 69% and freshwater species declined by 83%. But these numbers are urgent reminders that biodiversity is fading fast. So, on a global scale, the UN Convention on Biological Diversity has been stepping up since 1992. And now, the 16th Conference of the Parties, or COP16, is being held from October the 21st to November the 2nd, 2024, in Cali, Colombia. World leaders are there, aligning their strategies to protect biodiversity under the Kunming Montreal Framework, an initiative led by China. China has made bold strides. Panda populations have risen from 1100 to 1800, and Tibetan antelope have increased from 70,000 to 300,000, and Asian elephants are on the rise as well. Forest coverage is now 24.01%, and 800,000 hectares of wetlands have been restored. These are not just dry stats. They are proof of what determined conservation efforts can achieve. Biodiversity isn't distant. It's woven into everything we do, the food we eat, the air we breathe. Protecting biodiversity is about protecting our shared future. Whether it's the adorable panda or the humble grain of rice, they are both part of this incredible biodiversity story. And we, as the audience to this grand narrative, have a role to play. Every small action we take helps shape the future of our planet. So it's time to act. Even small steps matter. Because in the end, it's about you, me, and every living thing on Earth. Biodiversity is our future. Protect it, and we'll protect ourselves.